Hi folks, another Qashqai video for you. So here is my Qashqai. As usual, just let you know before we start the video, this is a 1.5 Tecna. As you can see, it's a 2014 model, uh, a J11. So it is the uh, pre-current facelift. Um, there being the Tecna, it's got quite a few of the toys on it. Uh, what I'm going to go through with you today is some of the external tips and also, because uh, I haven't got many of the tips, I'm also going to give you a engine bay uh, walkthrough uh, and a few tips in the boot as well. So first of all, um, if your car does have the keyless start and entry, you'll have these buttons written, uh, these buttons onto the door handles. There's one on this side, there's also one on the passenger side, but I didn't know if you are aware, there is also one on the boot. If we just look up under here, we have a button on in the middle, just below the Nissan badge, see if I can get that. Just here, that is also a keyless entry button. Now what's really useful for that is you can go up to your car, so if we lock it with this side, it's the car locked. If you go up to the boot, you can press that button to unlock it, but you can also just use the uh, button you use to lift the boot will also unlock the car as well as open the boot so it's quite a useful tip with the boot open I'll show you these buttons so the lock and unlock button uh, is just here it's a little uh, nub little round nub and what you use to open the boot if you just hold it it will unlock the car and open the boot for you in one go now whilst we're here I'm gonna go through the cameras as well because we've got obviously the reverse camera just here now one thing you might not realize is your rear uh, camera has a inbuilt washer because obviously the back of your car can get quite dirty it's hard to see it but it's tucked up in this little recess here so sometimes you may notice when you've reverse parked your car you'll have like a trail of water coming down here a bit like I've got at the moment uh, that is purely because when you put it into reverse it has washed the rear camera so it's quite a useful little feature so the camera locations around the car are that one on the back and then there is also one above this wing mirror, just here. The lights change. Um, the front one is located underneath the Nissan badge, just there. And obviously the final one is on the other wing mirror. The way to tell if it's got mirrors straight away, you can see this round uh, nub under the wing mirror. If a car, if a cash car hasn't got these nubs, just normal flat then it hasn't got the 360 cameras. So that's that part. Uh, I also just want to give you a tip on the roof racks. These roof racks are the Exodus ones from Halfords. Um, they're about £90 for the feet and the bars. These are the aero bars, the square bars are a little bit cheaper. Um, they're all right, they don't have a perfect fit, um, but I'm relatively happy with their fit. Uh, it doesn't fully clamp on on this side, but it does on this side, so it's not something I'm worried about. Um, but that's just the tip there. Um, but yeah, as for external tips, there aren't that many, to be honest. Um, can't really give you much out. So like I said, what I'm going to do is give you an introduction to the engine bay. And while I'm doing that, I can give you another little tip. And this one, quite helpfully, with your uh, bonnet release and fuel cap release, there is a little cutout of the fuel release. That's so that you can do it without having to look. So this one's got a cutout, this one hasn't. So you don't have to look down, you just feel for the one that's got the cut out and pull it to unlock your boot, uh, the fuel cap. So yeah, let's open the bonnet. Now I haven't got the gas struts on mine that you can buy from Wish, so you have to bear with me while I just uh, put the cap down, or the arm down. Sorted, right. So, in focus, so this is the 1.5 DCI, it is a Renault engine. Um, it's relatively uh, decent so just give you a tour of the engine so for things that you need to know about back here we've got the brake fluid just here we've got the coolant obviously it's telling you not to open it whilst the engine's hot in the middle nice big cap is the uh, oil cap which does have an inbuilt dipstick attached to it obviously the battery's just here the air box uh, with the air filter in is up here so the feed pipe goes all the way around there to there little tip I'll give you if you've got a, an unusual rattling this isn't very well designed um, the front part and the rear part there's no damping dampening between them so if, if you can hear a rattle um, especially on idle 
um, it will be most likely this to check and what I've done is I've uh, ran a piece of foam that I've got from a hobby shop all the way around the outside of it so it's still got the seal it's not gonna let any rubbish in uh, but it stopped that rattle really well so there's a tip for you there for filling up your windscreen washer bottle it's just here uh, and that's kind of it under the engine bay if you need to uh, get to this uh, oil filler a bit easier you can just pull this whole thing up it's only held on by some clips um, which don't break they just pull straight up uh, and there's a load of foam on the underside of it so that's that um, not much I was going to tell you about the front so I'll leave the bonnet open for now into the boot of the car a couple of tips for you oh, got the bags there get the bags out of the way free advertising for B&M and Primark for you Bosh. So, in the boot, you should have this, uh, what they call a false floor, which is these two panels here. Oh, excuse the mess underneath, I've only hoovered the top half because I'm lazy. You can have them in a multiple different uh, multiple, multiple different ways. That's one way, which gives you like a false floor. So if you've got, I don't know, fragile things, eggs, God, that looks bad on the camera, sorry. Uh, eggs and, you know, bread or something like that, that you just want to keep fragile, put them under there and put everything on top. It's really strong. Um, I sometimes have my uh, my parents 40 kilo dog on it and it's absolutely fine so that's that uh, you can use them both ways up if you want a more um, I don't know it's like a leatherette plasticky side you can use that side and just turn it over the other way you can also use this part as a divider fitting in those two side parts one two and you've got like a divider to keep things separate this works with this back one on the higher bit or the lower bit now just because it gives you the most amount of boot space I always keep the boot like so because you get the deepest boot, the biggest boot space. That's that. Um, as for other things, um, I'm trying to know what I was going to do now. So you've got the two straps each side, just for putting things in. I put bottles in, and stuff like that. Um, under the floor of the boot, you should have a space save, either a space saver or a run flat kit. Um, oh, that's what I was going to do for you. So, if you do have your boot at this, uh, like this, how's that going in? One, there we go. So, if you have your boot like that, this underneath also is a perfect fit for your parcel shelf. So, if we undo the parcel shelf, there's two clips, lift it out, it fits perfectly underneath there. So, you now have the boot without the parcel shelf in place really useful for uh, if you need that extra height in the boot it just sits under there really nice and neatly so that's about it for now like I said there's not been as many tips in this video um, just because there aren't actually that many external ones I can give you um, but as usual guys if you wanted to uh, drop me a message or a comment below I will try and get back to you with anything if you've got any ideas of certain videos that you want to know more about a certain system on the car then just give me a shout I can do that for you um, and I would really appreciate it if you can subscribe. We've just hit, I think, 750 subscribers. We're absolutely flying up with subs at the moment. So if you can get uh, up to 1,000, that would be absolutely amazing. So thanks very much, guys, and I shall see you in the next video.